Good morning. Good afternoon. And welcome to Mass Effect Monday. Good to have everybody on the program today. Sorry for the delay. You know how it is. New Monday, new week, new troubles, but new good things too. What's the opposite of troubles? Blessings? Uh, uh, but uh, you know what? I'm here, and I'm feeling good, and I got a cigar, and I got my coffee. Look at this coffee. This is a delicious big mug of coffee. Uh, thank you for your patience while I try and struggle with the child care situation. As I make progress on that front, I will let you know. But things may be a bit chaotic until then. But I'm here, and uh, I definitely at least have a couple of hours with you before I need to head on out. And it's good to have everybody on Facebook today. Quincy, Michael, Matt, Cole, Toby, Lewis, so good to have you. And it's wonderful to have everybody on YouTube as well. All of the members and the Patreon subscribers, Thomas McCormick, Courtney Zayas, Alt Grendel, Ethan H. with the Gold Derby, Edward C., G. King 920, Automatic Beats, Julian Z. with the Gold Derby, Thomas McCormick, Slatty Bartfast with the Gold Derby, Matt Rowland, Quintius, Deuteronomus with the Gold Derby, and Quintinus with the Gold Derby. Uh, Josh Buttonton, Spencer with the Gold Derby. S Spencer Slavin, HDN Expo, Courtney Zayas, Wasteland Wanderer, and Overloaded Gaming with the first super chat of the day. There are three kinds of people in the world, he says. Those who can count and those who can't. And from the sound of things, it looks like you are in the former. Adrian Parker says, hey, Ox, hope your Monday is going well. Thank you, Adrian. It's going fantastic. No complaints. Chininator, uh, Chininator says, hey, Ox, and the Oxaholics. Hey there, Chininator. Julian Z says, hi, Ox. So glad you're still going live on this Mass Effect Monday. I was worried there for a bit. Hopefully everything is all right with you. Let's get those Reapers. Thank you. Things are going fine over here. Garrett says, hi, Ox and all in chat. Ox, do you ever go back and watch any of your first ever videos you have done on YouTube? Just curious. You're the best. Uh, not uh, usually. Every now and then I'll go back and, you know, watch something that I'm particularly proud of. Uh, like um, a musical sequence I did or a lore video where it took a lot of putting pieces together. And I like the way that that story turned out. Or a video that's got, uh, that, that I think has some good editing. Uh, but uh, aside from that, no, I, usually, I don't really go back and watch a lot of my own stuff. <clears throat> um, Terry Williams says, new product, Oxhorn Coffee Tankard. I should get an Oxhorn branded uh, coffee tankard. That would rock. Well, uh, to make it up to you for being a bit late today, uh, I do have some props that I should show off. The first is a new Christless coffee mug powered by Fusion. It's a handsome little coffee mug. It's very corporate looking. Looks like, uh, well, exactly as it would in a Christless office. And... I got this. It's the uh, Great War Week. War never changes. It was a bundle that was available for purchase during a Great War Week bundle. And it's just now arriving. So that was back in October. Let's see what's, what's inside. We've got some communist propaganda posters. The walls have ears. 
communists are listening. Their war machine is mobilizing. Let's prepare ours. That has a giant communist liberty prime on there. The walls have eyes. Communists are watching. So there you go. Some little propaganda posters. This package also comes with a mug. They really love their mugs. Uh, but this is a Mr. Handy mug. Essentially, it's the box art for the Mr. Handy on a mug. Mr. Handy fuel, caution, explosive. Um, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess the coffee is explosive. Maybe it's really hot. Then there's a War Never Changes pin. Bethesda really likes their pins. Lots of different pins. Uh, so it comes with the pin, War. War Never Changes. And comes with a teeny tiny Mr. Handy robot. It's very similar to uh, the ones that we got in the loot boxes. I don't know if you got those, but um, the loot boxes that used to come out, it's been a while since I've gotten a loot box, but there was a Misty H Mr. Handy in it, and this uh, looks and feels a lot like it. I think it's made from the same material. But the difference is that this one is kinda to scale, not really high quality. The one uh, that was made by um, Gaming Heads is the highest quality one I've seen. But this one's okay. It's really, really tiny. And yeah, there it is. So that was what came in the Great War box. Put that right there. There, hope I made it up to you guys. Pavel on YouTube says, uh, Torment character. He's going to talk about a Planescape Torment character. More to Floating Skull of Unknown Origin. Always joking, sarcastic, and chauvinistic. But under the facade is a frightened, fragile mind with a very dark secret involving the Nameless One. Interesting. Thank you, Pavel, and then Alt Grendel with a donation for my computer diagnosis fund. Thank you, Alt Grendel. Any idea what happened Friday? Hoping for a non crash stream. Uh, Friday was. Uh, what happened Friday? I know that I had internet issues on one of these days. Was that Wednesday? No, it was Monday. Last week, last Monday, I had a, a crash during, oh, yeah, it was during a huge plot segment. Great. I, so that means I have no idea where I'm going to be logging in today. In the middle of it? Just before it? We'll see. No, that was internet. It was an internet problem. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, that was outside of my control. As for the crashing I during, what game was it? It was Thursday night. I think that was mainly due to poor optimization of the game, is what I'm guessing. Survivor from the old era says, hope the coffee isn't served by bean at 100, at 300, 100, 100 degrees. That would be a bit of a bummer. It would, but I think so far I have survived. Sweezy with a tip. Thank you very much, Sweezy. Garrett on Facebook says, a merch idea. You should make Oxhorn Derby hats. I'll buy one. <laughs> I really should. There's a lot I should be, d be doing to merchandise. Uh, Austin says, Ox and Mods, I need help with Discord. Well, hi, Austin. I don't know how to help you with Discord. Uh, your best bet is to talk to the people on Discord. In the Discord server. That's probably your best bet. Robin on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Wish me luck closing on the house today. I'm about to be a homeowner of my very own. Congratulations, Robin. Good luck to you. 
I hope you close on the house and everything goes swimmingly. Kay May says, Hi Ox, happy to see you having a really bad mental day. Well, you know what? We've all been there. Uh, and I'm glad that we're all here today to help you through your really bad mental day. Hopefully a little bit of Mass Effect will go a long way to make that day feel a lot better. All right, let's dive into the game and see where we're at. Hopefully we don't have to replay a bunch of stuff. Cerberus never did play fair. Wow. Great place to throw me back to. Well, at least we didn't miss any of the cutscene. <laughs> all right, so we just got to kill the boss again. That's all. We got to kill the huge boss that we killed last week again. Fine. Never did play fair. Okay, kill the boss again. Okay, I don't quite remember where the stream cut out last week, so we'll just go ahead and play through all this. You had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. There they are. That's them. Oh. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Ruben says, didn't he do this last time? Yes, but uh, remember last week I had internet issues which made my broadcast really slow to the point where some of it got cut off and I ultimately um, lost Commander, the broadcast. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. 
If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Here we go. And a glimpse of the device. Please tell me I'm still in the green. Looks like I am. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to a genophage modification project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morton. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. Uh-oh. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. I mean, it's not what a competition. Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Okay. And we're finally in control again. So, priority Tachanka, Tachanka Turian Platoon. Oh dear. Attican Traverse Krogan team, Codex updated the Crucible. All right, let's see what we've got here in terms of Codex updates. Ah, that's a lot of quests. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate... The Mars archives describe a superweapon that the Alliance has named the Crucible, which exploits the technology of Mass Effect relays. Beyond the basic principles, however, researchers know little about how the weapon actually works. One popular theory suggests that since relays can transfer matter and energy across the galaxy with little regard for distance, it may be possible to create a weapon for which range is barely a factor. Duplicating the advanced science used to build the relays has proven difficult, however. If the Crucible were completed, the challenge would become tuning the weapon to kill a Reaper halfway across the galaxy, 
without inflicting unthinkable levels of collateral damage. Hmm. What is clear is that the Crucible's construction is a massive effort, drawing resources from throughout explored space. Staggering financial costs have been disregarded in the common effort to create something, anything, that can stop the Reapers. Austin on Facebook with another donation of stars. Thank you, Austin. Matt Luden says, uh, The cure question is fun. Lots of fun consequences either way. Make your own choices. Which way are you leaning? I don't know. I guess I'm leaning on curing it. The John Grissom... Alternating between large oceans and land masses covered in flora, the Solarian homeworld, Sirkesh, is known for its humid climate and lush vegetation. As with the rainforests that once covered Earth, once. the planet's many forests enjoy a rich biodiversity. The Solarian desire for intellectual stimulation drove them long ago to explore every aspect of their environment, developing ways to thrive without consequences detrimental to their habitat. The areas near major cities and industrial centers are meticulously maintained with an eye towards ensuring that sunlight penetrates to the ground level and that established paths through the jungle are kept clear for travel. Burn grass, a soil enriching and adaptable weed native to Sirkesh, has become a major export because of its value for terraforming. Hmm. Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance. Dr. Morden Solis is a master geneticist and former operative for the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Dr. Solis is well known for his work in perpetuating the genophage, a biological weapon that almost completely sterilized the Krogan species. He eventually left the STG to open a clinic on Omega, where his combat skills kept the clinic safe and operational amid Omega's lawless society. In 2185, Commander Shepard recruited Dr. Solis to research the Collectors and the Reapers. He was a member of the Normandy crew that traveled beyond the Omega-4 relay to attack the Collectors. He survived the mission, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Vince M says, uh, good afternoon, Ox. Currently at work, but wanted to stop by and say hi, presumably. Thank you, Vince. Uh, and it looks like the chat is having a bit of di a disagreement on YouTube. Some are telling me to do certain priority quests first. Others are saying that it really doesn't matter at this point. Dethika says, make sure you, you finish side quests before priority to Chanka. Pyro says, do what you want. It doesn't matter at this point. Hmm... Shard says priority to Chanka is kind of a no turn back point for some quests and dialogue. All right, so a little bit of consensus there. We'll see. All right, that's all of my primary codex. These are my missions. Oh, goodness. Ugh. To Chanka, Turian Platoon, Shrike Abyssal, Prothean Obelisk. I do love me a good Perothian obelisk. Attican Traverse, those are all new. God, how do I get all these brand new quests? Okay, let's see. I should probably twiddle these down one by one. Shrike Abyssal, Prothean Obelisk. I have no idea if these are interesting quests or not, but this one sounds fun. A Volus diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. Oh, this is the one where we gotta happen upon it. So I shouldn't even be looking at my quest log. I should be looking at the map to show me which ones I can actually access right now. Dethika says the, the Benning quest disappears after priority to Chanka. So I should do Benning evidence? Vince, uh, and then I read Vince's. Okay, Dethika, thank you. Well, we just had a huge plot uh, point, so we should run around and talk with members of the ship to see if there's anything new, and then we can uh, go to the map. All right, we got some new war assets, alien terminus fleet. Updated, updated, updated. The Eclipse Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage, and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a sizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for support in combat. 
That was worth 200, <clears throat> 200 war assets. And then we've got Solarian, Major Kirahi. All right. This is only worth 20. I mean, come on. It's Major Kirahi. He's only worth 20? Major Kirahi made his mark leading the Solarian Special Tasks group that helped Commander Shepard stop Saren at Vermeer. Lauded by superiors for his <clears throat> decisive leadership under fire, Kirahi was promoted and decorated with the prestigious star of Sirkesh. The Major continues to join missions with his men, believing that nothing substitutes for experience and that the best tactical strategies are planned on the battlefield. There's our war assets. Uh, Julian Z says, Zox, I think you have a secondary codex as well. I mean, you're right, but these aren't voiced by the narrator, and yeah, I'm just not going to go through all of this right now. That's a whole lot of stuff. Plus, I don't know what what is overlap with the last Mass Effect. So, I'm going to ignore them for now. Christopher Lowe says, uh, the way it works is after finishing a mission or two, you will get a mission that is the clearly that clearly progresses the story. You can do any quest, even others on Tachanka, except the quest, that quest, and you won't pass any points of no return. Thank you, Christopher Lee. Man of Orb says, I wonder if Area will rename the Blue Suns to Azure Supernovas. We, we could ask her, maybe. Let's see if uh, Primarch Victus has anything to say. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. Uh... But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. And yet he wants my help. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help, and understanding. Your men that crashed on Tachanka, how many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Ah. Oh. The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. I like this guy. That's all. Of course, Commander. Julian Z says, that, uh, Ox, then I suggest you mark all as red now, so that you know which are new from now on. I mean, it's a bit late at this point. I've already got all of these, and... I will have missed all of this secondary lore from now on. Uh, I don't intend to read all of this. Instead, we'll let the narrator read primary codex stuff, and uh, we'll just explore the world from here on out. Hey, it's Rex. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. 
Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. Ah. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. <laughs> uh -huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. The Rachni? What? What will you do after the Genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sarkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it, then think about it, <sighs> then talk about it some more. <laughs> Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. <laughs> so sometimes I pretend to listen and, well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. Oh <laughs> no, the classic story, oh my god. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. Mm. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard? I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. Oh! <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? <clears throat> Giving the commander a hard time because of his romantic liaison. Of course, Rex, of course. Um, <clears throat> well. Uh, duty calls for us as well. We gotta walk around to <clears throat> see what's changed. It sounds like uh, these missions are pretty important. I think the Turian one probably is more important right now. I gotta find that poor guy's son. Do you think the Salarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been throwing rocks. See if Joker and Eddie have anything new to say. The Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or uh, teaching the Reapers to love. There you go. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. All right, Eddie. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? 
A croaken female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This Ew. keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives. Camels? Since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Oh, good. That Eddie is... Or Eddie is thinking about these things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Krogan have humps like camels that store nutrients? Ugh. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced <laughs> by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. Oh. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Hello, Shepard. Okay. Edie never change. Right. We've got a few more levels of the ship uh, where we can talk with people, and then it's to the star map. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. What? Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Okay. Commander. I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Commander? See so what we got. Info for you. Hi Shepard, it's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Farron. All right, so uh, Liara's friend from her Shadowbroker days. Holding the line from Major Kirahi. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Surakesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. 
to that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Major Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, Special Tasks Group. ANN Alert! New article on indoctrination from Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thessia, a sorry scientist, Rana Thanoptis has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top-secret project for former Spectre Saren Arteria several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. Oh, no! We met her, didn't we? In, um... Mass Effect 1. I think we had an option to keep her alive or not. I guess this is ramifications for our choice. Spectre status confirmed from Ashley Williams, Commander. Udina made an offer, and I accepted. I'm a Spectre. I can't believe it. With everything falling apart, does this even mean anything? All the authority, resources, freedom, the whole scary package. But I don't know. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Come by the hospital if you get a chance. They're still keeping me here, but I'm planning on sneaking out soon. Ashley. All right. One more reason to head back to the Normandy. Or to uh, the Citadel. We'll start with Captain's Cabin. See if there's anything there. Man of Warb says a billion Krogan females can produce one trillion Krogan young in a year. And they live for over a thousand years. Can any planet sustain that many of them? I don't know. Feed the fishes. Space hamster. She was the one on Vermeyer's, or Vermeyer, says Shard. The Unknown Planet, a member for 10 months with a bunch of ox emojis. Thank you, The Unknown Planet. All right, do we have anyone at starboard? Yep, this is still currently blank. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy, but it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Go, oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Oh, Dr. Chakwas. What's she doing all the way up here in the crew cabins? Hello, Commander. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Okay. Poor Dr. Chakwas. Let's go find Morden, see how he's doing.
Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. <laughs> Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Whoa! Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. I can't turn my neck that far back. Commander Shepard was... Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. And you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory learner. <laughs> Need to hear yourself think. Simulate conversation to promote new ideas. Maximize productivity. But you're talking about me dying. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. <laughs> hey, Eve. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. The Krogan starve in seven days? I mean, humans can last, what, a couple of weeks without food, right? How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half a Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. 
<laughs> that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. Uh. Rex is different. He's a mutant. <laughs> that you can tell him. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child, there is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't... How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. <laughs> but I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. Asari Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... Yes! Well, it wasn't his ear. Yeah! <laughs> All right, more Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. This conversation really helped give me some context that I needed to make my decision. After talking with her, I think curing the genophage is the best solution. Yes, it does put the galaxy at risk for future Krogan invasions, invasions but um, talking with her gave me a better understanding of uh, the politics back on Tachanka, about how it's been so male-dominated for so long, precisely because of the genophage. With the genophage cured, women are gonna have much more power much more influence, be able to craft their own destinies. And maybe that would curb the bloodlust impulses of the males. We'll see. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. 
Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Hmm. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect, health trouble. Oh, so does that mean other females are gonna have health trouble? You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Yeah. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted her immunity. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Alright. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now, if possible. Unless he could help. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Aww. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right, to prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Morden. He's like the best character in this entire franchise. All right. <sighs> well, lots of lore. Really important lore. It's going to help me make my decision later. Now let's see what Liara and her little floating robot have to say to us. It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact that it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Uh, weapon upgrade kit. This field kit can be used for a one-time upgrade to a variety of weapons to increase ammo capacity or the potential damage dealt. Schematics have been scanned into the Normandy's onboard computers. Ammo capacity, weapon damage bonus. 5% in either case. Let's try ammo capacity. We did it again. Is that the second time we've done ammo capacity? Whoops. 
All right. Good to see you again, Shepard. Email from Professor Takesha to Dr. Odual. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later, saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> Call between Kasumi Goto and Professor S. Uh, Olauzen. Kasumi. Hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Olauzen. Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I've got something better. Check your front door. I... But this server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Professor. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus leaves just lying about in the open. Ah, good old Goto. Or Gato. At your service. Right, this deck done. Two more to go. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Perthians are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here... <laughs> I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian... All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. The Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. His reply was problematic. Then he left. <laughs> I do not understand that one. <laughs> Why would Morden ask to dissect a living Prothean? This Cerberus. I do not understand why your own kind would oppose you. They will bleed the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. The Rex Krogan offered me a job. He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Yes? don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. It was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we Lose the piece or lose your spot on this ship, Allers. Whoa! This is exactly what I was afraid of. Thanks, Commander. What's your choice, Allers? Like you said, it's just your opinion, right? I'll pull it. All right, so the first person I talk to is the side I side with, I guess. Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. But I think I made the right choice there. 
Don't need opinion pieces saying that entire human colonies need to be destroyed. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. Oh. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Commander? Power grid is in the green. Jillian Z says, Ox, did you forget to, uh, to talk to Garrus? Maybe I forgot where he was. I thought he was down here. John Miller with a sticker tip. Thank you, John. Man of Warb says, consider this. Will all females fall lockstep with Rex and Eve? A single outlier can spawn a, batal a battalion of Krogan in a year. A division in ten years. Uh, yeah. There is that. Well, I guess I missed Garrus. Um, oh, he was at the end. Right, 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 right. All right. I'll go check that out in a minute. See if our buddy over here is feeling any better. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. What do you mean? Normally, I'm not one to fly co-pilot, but when an 800-pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Sir. Wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. I hear we're headed to Tachanka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Hey. All right, let's go find Garrus and then on to the star chart. Who was at the crew deck? Uh, Moo Woo says, you are literally my online dad, Ox. I love you. Oh, Moo Woo. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy to fill that role. Online dad, here I am. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Yeah, but can Turians and Krogans reproduce together? I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Later. All right.
Okay, so we are on Surakesh. Have we fully explored this place? We have. Oh, okay, lots to do. Citadel, meet Dr. Bryson, extract Turian survivors, investigate Cerberus' presence. That's the one I think we need to do. Investigate the missing scouts in the Nema cluster. Let's do this, Krogan DMZ. There's Tachanka. Let's extract the, the Turian survivors first. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas, Tachanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aral Aralak. Uh, rake clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogans split the atom. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global, global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, which is based on orbiting battle stations. <clears throat> CDEM advisory visitors to Tachanka land at their own risk. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Travel advisory, the ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. We can go to the downed vessel. James said he'd like to go. And we haven't tried Eddie yet, have we? Edie. All right, we got 12 points here. Let's see. I can maximize a couple. Yeah. All right. Uh, increases recharge speed or suspends the target in air for a short time. Hmm. 
Let's try that. Achievement unlocked focused. Now let's go to Assault Mastery. Increases shotgun damage by 15% or increases power damage bonuses by 25%. Increases power duration and force by 25%. Oh, tough choice. Oh, man. Tough choice. <laughs> I mean, I got, I, I really want shotgun damage. That's so great. But it's only 15% compared to a 35% or a 50% bonus to both of these. Damage and duration. Let's try this. Oh, we haven't done anything for Eddie yet. Oh, God. Okay, let's start with Unshackled AI. Let's try... Overload. Defense Matrix. Reinforce armor with protective food cult currents. Man of Warp says, Chad is recommending bringing Garrus for this mission. Uh, well, it's a bit late now. I don't think I can go back. Burn your opponents and their armor. Okay. Let's see. Now, I've got 18 points left. Always a good choice. Increases power damage or increases health and shield. Let's do power damage. like that. Damage by 30. Impact radius by 2 meters. Let's do damage by 30. Ooh, a dot. Five left. Weapon damage by 20, tech powers by 30. Yep. And James, he's got eight points. Arms Master, Carnage. Grenade capacity by two. Or damage to organics by 40% over 10 seconds. Ooh, bleed damage. Uh, gotta have the bleed damage. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. Your dad becomes Primarch and sends you on a secret op? That's pressure. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. 
This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. And I hope this isn't timed. Look at this place. Bad. Do we know why Turians would be poking around Tachanka? Maps of the area list no important resources. Freddie Simmons says, uh, why do you keep ignoring James's incendiary rounds upgrade? Because I already have incendiary rounds on Shepard. Don't worry, I'll max him out later. It's just I felt incendiary rounds were less important considering I already have. Shh. See him. Kill them quickly. We do not want reinforcements. <laughs> How's that for quick? Escape pod, dead ahead. It appears that they survived the crash, and then a harvester exploded the pod. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and chewed on by husks. Weapon unlocked, the M9 Tempest. It's a submachine gun. Can I put in a weapon mod? No, I can't put in a weapon mod. Come on, why not? on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Nice to get a jump on them for a change. Exactly. Let's go. Okay, I guess we saved them. We managed to save them all. New cigar.
Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Damn. Losing men is hard enough. But when everybody expects you to be like your big-time old man, that's gotta be rough. Organic species give disproportionate credit to parental influence. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Thank you, Edie. Save, says Courtney. A Faiston. What is a Faiston? Assault rifle. Weight goes down, capacity goes down, fire rate goes down, damage only goes slightly up, accuracy goes down. I think I'll keep what he's got. Particle rifle. rifle. Shadow Snake says, did you know there is an upgrade console in the hangar next to the mod bench? It's only accessed through the ship, and you can upgrade your weapons, damage, ammo, and lighter weight. Okay, thank you, Shadow Snake. Nick Butler says, hey, Ox, happy streaming. When are you continuing God of War? Hope you're well. Um, probably after I finish Sherlock Holmes. Mad Roland says it's a really good assault rifle. Yeah, but compared to the particle rifle? I mean, look at all of the damage this thing does. Oh, wait. Yeah, that does more damage. This assault rifle only does slightly more damage. But everything else, including the capacity, is way better on the particle rifle. So I'm just over my weight. Power recharge speed negative 4%. It's the shotgun. Look how heavy that shotgun is. Save them all, Commander. Come this way. All right, still managed to save them all, but God. Over here. Got ambushed by husks.
Shepard here. What's your status? We're in here. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Sure thing. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Think this is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? How's their commander gonna live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. What exactly did he do? Shotgun smart choke, hey. I meant to hide behind that, but instead I leapt over it. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. The harvester is ahead. It appears to be retreating. God, I can't see! Well, I don't think I'm going to be uh, charging into that mess because uh, the the flame attacks from the harvester yeah, blind me and I can't see where I'm going. Understood.
Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. Here's where politics pisses me off. Wouldn't the Krogan want to blow these Reapers the hell off their own planet? I need these guys working together. Better not to complicate things. Am I not switching to my shotgun? Codex updated Black Star. Albin says Ox fully charged the shotgun shot for maximum damage on the harvesters and other heavy enemies. Okay, we'll do. What did I just shoot? Oh my god. 
hot. Okay, uh, Man of Orb says the Black Sword was a single use heavy weapon. You were supposed to use it on the Harvester. Okay, thank you, Man of Orb. I guess I should have cleared the place first, then gone back and gotten the Harvester. Jared says, Hey, Ox, that shotgun is wicked, but don't forget about biotic combos. Pull them. Char pull, then charge shockwave from ma massive, explo massive explosions. Thank you, Jared. CJ says, Hi, Ox, thank you for playing Mass Effect, and thank you for mentioning Deathicus Coffee. 
or Death Wish Coffee. It has changed my life. You're welcome, CJ. Freddie Simmons says, for some strange, in Mass Effect 3, heavy weapons are now a rarity. And you can only shoot them once. That weapon you just shot, the Black Star, is one of them. All right. Starting to make more sense. Thank you. Tommy on uh, Facebook says, I'm sure Garrus is somewhere doing some calibrations, lol. As he should be. Good old Garrus. Come this way. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, Whoa. if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turi. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Yeah, yeah. I like that speech. Oh, he's the leader Commander, now. Come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nap point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. 
I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Cat Magic says, make sure to save the Citadel DLC till you are about to do the final mission of the game. It has a much more powerful impact emotionally. Okay, I can do that. Thank you, Cat Magic. I mean, if it were any other time, sure, Earth would come first, but trust is literally the only thing keeping this alliance together to defeat the Reapers, so... Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command, but now I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And, and that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No, still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then you shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Why are they giving Order. me this? Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Why are they giving me this mission now? VidCom? Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we hey. can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. 
They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. All right, we're getting codex updates. The John Gris Tachanka, the Krogan homeworld, boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and predatory fauna. Around 1900 BCE, the Krogan discovered atomic weapons and promptly sent their planet into a nuclear winter. The majority of the population retreated to underground bunkers, and Krogan culture slipped into a dark age, dominated by tribal clans. In 80 CE, decades into the Rachni Wars, the Salarian Union made first contact with the primitive Krogan and initiated a cultural uplift to shape them into a modern army capable of confronting the Rachni. During this uplift, the Salarians constructed the Shroud facility on Tachanka to shield the planet from harmful forms of solar radiation. Later, during the Krogan rebellions, reproductive rates were curtailed by the Genophage, ensuring the Krogan remained a species in decline and Tachanka a desolate wasteland. Chad is saying that the bomb mission is timed. All right, I'll do that one next. Freddie Simmons says it wasn't a mistake what the Primarch's son did. He made the right call. I don't understand why the game is making it sound like avoiding heavy resistance is bad. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, he had two options. He could go in where they were expecting them and, you know, a third of his forces would die or he could try to sneak around. And with the limited information he had at the time, he made a very, you know, understandable and even logical decision. Um, I guess the problem is that he got in a spot where he couldn't maneuver. And so he essentially went into a worse position because once there, he couldn't back out or step aside. But why everyone's blaming him when he had to choose between two bad options, I'm not sure. Biotics is the ability of rare... It may be possible to reverse the genophage by extracting an immunity from the genetic data of a cured Krogan female. A Solarian geneticist named Malin, a former student of Dr. Morden Solis, discovered the cure through unethical experimentation on live subjects. The complexity and durability of the genophage derives from biochemical countermeasures that the Solarians wove into the plague in an attempt to make the sterilization incurable. No one is certain of how Malin circumvented the countermeasures, but his work was complete enough to allow replication of his results. In its original form, the cure restored fertility but severely compromised the immune system. This resulted in slow, painful death for all but one of Malin's test subjects. If the beneficial aspects of the cure can be isolated, a specially tailored virus could repair the affected genes in other Krogan. The reaper called Harbinger is believed to be... The sight of a reaper harvester in flight nearby is one of the first indications that a reaper invasion is underway. Their massive wingspan allows them to quickly cover the distance between them and their prey. In the harvester's mouth are two heavy guns that fire in an alternating pattern. The harvester's most fearsome quality, however, is that its appearance guarantees that reaper ground troops are not far behind. The Reaper, the Reaper weapon, nicknamed Black Star, is so advanced that Alliance scientists can only offer speculation about how it works. The gun appears to exploit an element zero core and mass effect fields to fire gravitational singularities, micro black holes, that revert to their natural lethality when they impact a solid object. Researchers theorize that the blast tears apart the strong nuclear forces that hold the target's atoms together resulting in a localized fusion reaction in light atoms and a localized fission reaction in heavy atoms. If that hypothesis is correct, 
the weapon alters nuclei, thus changing the chemical composition of the target. This destroys organic tissue, corrodes surviving armor, and leaves a visible trail of light-emitting particles. Although some might argue that the Black Star's single launch capability makes it a liability, its capacity for utter destruction is essential when the user requires large-scale, instantaneous damage. Well, if only I had known all of this about the thing, I could have waited and used it on the Reaper. Uh, Terry Williams says, it's a Turian thing. They favor head-on heavy-hitting tactics. When you go against accepted... Oh, when you go against accepted strategy, they get a bit touchy, even if it's really better. I see. So it's a Turian cultural thing. Ethan H. says, uh, I've noticed this game as Unseen Acts. I think of this one as the Morden Rex Primarch Act. The Shroud mission wraps up this act, so do the aforementioned character's quests before that one. Will do. All right, looks like we have no new war assets. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories, at which you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. What was that all about with the Primark? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Ooh, poor Rex. <laughs> that Rex, he's pretty wily and smart. You hear we had to evac another colony? We're losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. Neither does Cerberus. If they did, we could drop an asteroid on them. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. So that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not <laughs> Good on you, Joker. Commander. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. It's almost as if he's the main character in a story. Hello, Shepard. Well, we should probably do our due diligence and shot with, uh, chat with the major actors of the ship before we go on to defuse the bomb. Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Ah, uh, what? Is that a timed one too? Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week, and it would be wrong. Commander. Oh, no. So I gotta go to Benning. All right, let's make this quick. Joe V says, I've missed a few live streams. How are you liking Mass Effect 3? I'm really enjoying Mass Effect 3. I never remember which of these wings has anybody in them. 
Stop beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Ashley didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Greg, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here, right now. We have a war to win. So clear your head and focus. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. It will not be mentioned again. Hello, Commander. Commander. Man, I love all of these little conversations we can overhear. Makes the ship feel alive. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're just chilling here, drinks. I love it. Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Not right now. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. Okay. Is that it? Not right now. Ethan H. says, Garrus is seducing your girlfriend. You're doomed. I mean, if anyone on board could seduce her, it's Garrus. That's it? All right. Uh, okay, nothing in the restrooms. Let's see how Morden is doing. No, that would... Mm, perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a... Could. Oh. Ah, but should test with me. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> Something else, Commander? Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Brandon Belfed says, to my knowledge, no mission is timed so long as you do every other mission you currently have before the Cure Genophage mission. It's plot advancement. Okay. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Okay, no new dialogue there. And we know Garrus isn't up there. And we know Liara isn't over there. I wonder if there's a new, um... A pleasure to see you. No. Well, if Garrus isn't over there, I wonder if that's because someone else is in there. No. Man of Warb says the Turian platoon leader's mistake was assuming that his altern his alternate approach path with no room to avoid attacks wouldn't also be crawling with enemies. It's a rookie mistake. I see your point. Dire news from Earth. 
Off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Commander. All right, I need to lighten my weapons because uh, in that last battle, my biotic time down was so slow that I was really struggling. So we're gonna go tinker with our weapons for a little bit. I heard about the events on Tachanka. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let their wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts. about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Those FBA couplings you got us are still holding up. Shepard? Nothing to report. Okay. We got to do something about this. I love the Venom shotgun. I really do. But the weight is just intolerable. Increases damage. And I haven't been doing my melee like I should. Ultralight materials. The weight goes down slightly. Not a lot. These two are my lightest shotguns, and they weigh the same. Damage goes way down for both of them. Accuracy goes way down for both of them. The Rieger carbine is only slightly less heavy than this one. And I can't stack ultralight materials, can I? Well, I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can weigh this down. Yeah, the weight of the pistol is pretty uh, high up there, too. That actually does a lot. That really reduces the weight. Pretty significantly. Okay. Uh, so pi pi piercing mod. Magazine upgrade damage. Do the upgrades from the upgrade bench. That will help, says chat. Thank you, Terrell. Accuracy.
I like the high caliber barrel. Okay, let's try and upgrade them. Venom shotgun. 4,000. Five thousand. Seven thousand five hundred. And then what was the name of my little pistol? Scorpion two. Three thousand. Four thousand. Five thousand. Seven five hundred. Oh, that's the size I can get it. I can't get it anymore. I can't upgrade it anymore. It disappears from my upgrade list. All right, well, let's see what it takes to get this to disappear. There, it's done. I fully upgraded both. I've got 19,000 left, that's not a lot. Uh, the weight is still... Ooh, the weight of that is much improved. Much improved. The weight of that is still pretty heavy. But look at that, my weight total is way down there now. Power charge speed 100%. I can afford to equip other weapons now. Let's see what happens if I equip one of these. Power recharge 0%. Ugh. Negative 50. Negative 25. Negative 100. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'd rather have power recharge speed at 100%. Okay, all right. I could do a submachine gun. Power recharge speed, 50%. 25%. Buy more advanced versions of the ultralight materials, says Freddie Simmons. Can I do that? Ethan H. says that those bars are actually super inaccurate sometimes. Example, Rieger says it has low fire rate, but actually it shoots continuously like a flamethrower. Interesting... I've never liked continuously firing weapons in games in the past, so. Well, I could uh, grab one of these and I'll st still get a 50% power recharge rate. Is it worth it to have the submachine gun? An extra submachine gun? The M4 Shuriken. Well, let's see if we can uh, upgrade the mods. Procurement interface. Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. How do you upgrade mods? All right, well, you know what? I haven't really had a, a weapon ammo problem so far in the game. Like, I don't think there's been a mission where I've completely ran out of ammunition for both of my weapons. And having a power recharge speed of 100% is really important for all of my biotic abilities. So, I think I'll just keep it with these two weapons. I'm really enjoying the sh both the shotgun and the Scorpion 5. Venom Shotgun 5, Scorpion 5. I mean, they're just great. Okay, I think I'm good. The procurement terminal says Terrell. Oh. Ah. I see, I see.
Ah, I can buy models. How did I miss these when I went to the Citadel? Man of Warp says, for the Vanguard, power recharge is key. You want to keep continuously spamming charge in Nova. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do in the last fights, but my recharge was so slow. I need both of those. I mean, I don't need both of those. I want both of those. Let's see if I can upgrade my mods first, and then we'll go back to Casa Fabrications and buy those. Pistol scope, no. Eager munitions, pistol scope, two. That's where I was, no. Spectre requisitions. Shotgun ultralight materials too. There it is. Geth Plasma SMG? Whoa. Oh, this Blood Pack Punisher. Look at this sucker. Looks great. Anti-synthetic rifle, executioner pistol, striker. All right, so I can't find uh, upgraded ultralight materials for the pistol. All right, let's go back to Casa Fabrications and get the models. Okay. I think I'm good. How does that do on my shotgun? The weight is still pretty high up there. That's eh, a significant chunk. But I'm still at 100%, so I wonder if I can put in a spare thermal clip. Uh, it puts me down to 86%. Hundred and three percent. All right. Okay, uh, I've got about 30 minutes left in the broadcast. I don't know if that's enough time to finish a mission. We can at least start one. I gotta go defuse that bomb. We gotta go do Benning as well. Uh, so I'm skipping priority to Chanka. Which is the one with the bomb? To Chanka, bomb. Turian team that crashed on Tachanka was trying to prevent Cerberus from detonating a bomb that would cause massive casualties on the planet. Land on Tachanka and help the Turian platoon stop Cerberus. Brett Bus says the Executioner is a railway pistol. It's one shot per mag, but immensely powerful. Vlad says the Geth SMG is a bee stocks, also super light. Thank you, guys. I might experiment with more guns a bit later. Right now, I think I want to focus the time I have on defusing this bomb. Locate the bomb. Wow, a lot of missions all over Tachanka. Garrus seemed interested in the bomb. So we'll select Garrus. And I miss Liara. She's just great. We'll select Liara. Capacity and fire rate go down, weight goes up, accuracy goes up. Not really worth it. So let's see. Increases rounds per magazine by 40%. Is that necessary for an NPC?
Yeah, I don't think weight is necessary for an NPC. All right, my boy Garrus. Damage goes way down with the Viper. Man. All right, so extended barrel two, thermal clip, concentration mod increases damage by five. All right, so let's stick with the barrel and then rifle piercing. Enhances aim for a brief time. I think we're good with the piercing mod. All right, four points left. Uh, I do want to start uh, building up Cryo so I can have an alternative uh, weapon. Or I'm sorry, ammunition type for my secondary weapon. But I don't think I want to waste points on that just yet. I haven't really found much of a use for Slam yet, have I? I could upgrade Fitness. More health. Oh, that's just a melee damage bonus or health and shields. 15%. Got to do it. Seven for good old Garrus here. We could maximize concussive shot. You know we gotta. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, powers it with the active ammo power, enabling it to burn, freeze, disrupt, warp, or pierce armor. Increases damage to organics by 100% over 10 seconds. Increases force by 50%. That's going to be more useful, I think. So we'll do that. Concussive shot. She's got eight points. Warp is really powerful, and it's not quite as upgraded as I would like right now, yet I can only... Well, either way. So I could I could upgrade this to... No, I could do both of these. Stasis and Warp. Let's do it. Damage by 30. Combo detonations. I haven't been very good at combo detonations. Duration? More damage. Let's do more damage. Confirm. We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. Oh! What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Well, clearly it was a mistake in hindsight, but at the time, it might have made sense. Dragon Fan says, I like equipping Garrus with the Faiston rifle. Maybe I'll do that too. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. People! Get behind the building! Keep your heads down!
scare us. Right, Shepard, right. we need to keep moving. <sighs> right, well, I know, but I gotta get loot. I mean, loot, 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 loot. Is this time? I don't know if I have Shepard, time to- we need to keep moving. Shut up, Garrus, man, I get it. Shepard, we need to keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reach the bomb. I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. Ooh, M9 incisor. This is a sniper rifle? Yeah. Oh, damage goes down. Weight goes down slightly. Capacity goes up slightly. Not worth it. Oh, that's the Viper. Oh. Oh, okay. Still, damage goes way down. Oh, it's the fire rate that goes up. A lot. Fire rate and capacity both go up and weight goes down. Accuracy goes down, though. I don't know. I kind of like uh, the Mantis. We'll stick with that. Freddie Simmons says the mortar fire in this area is cosmetic. Okay, good. I'm so glad I reduced my weight. Oh my god. Over to the left, Shepard. A way out. Biotics have been saving my butt. We defeat the Grogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. After all this, to lose everything in a flash, it's monstrous. Glad I brought Garrus for this. Cerberus is putting up a fight, but the ninth platoon is advancing, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. Well, I killed them.
Cerberus is leaving. been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Ah! They're leaving because they armed the bomb and it's about to de detonate. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. I ran through this real quick. Hey, Citadel, Cerberus automated tur turrets schematics. Great. I need to go back to the Citadel to finish that side quest. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. I should have brought but Edie. Like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. What? Sniper! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear. Here come reinforcements. I need more time, Commander. Did I just pick up a heavy weapon? Do I need to save this for something? <laughs> well, if only I had known that was there.
Shepard. Take that thing down. Now. Oh. Come on, man. He's gonna die being a hero. Look at him go! Dragon fan says this is equivalent to Tsar Bomba in the middle of New York City. I believe it. Oh, this Turian is a badass. Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. Oh! Awesome last words. Victory at any cost? Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but... We're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good man. Good Turian. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Sounds like my dialogue Back options. It out. Might have an impact here. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? 
The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. That's not the response I was hoping for. That's not the message I was hoping to give. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Ooh. Turian. Turian Black Watch. A team of exceptionally skilled spe special ops soldiers, Black Watch is sent on missions that threaten the safety of Palavan itself. It was pulled from the homeworld by order of Primarch Adrian Victus, who wanted to mobilize his elite force in less hopeful or in less hopeless situations across the galaxy. The majority of Black Watch's operations are classified, although it's generally accepted that they are that they have the highest success rate of any Turian unit in history. There are rumors that Saren Arterius was part of Black Watch before becoming a Spectre, although given his youth when he joined the Turian army, it seems highly unlikely. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. Miwi in the chat says, looks like I'm a gold now, Oxhorn. Hey, Miwi, congrats on the gold derby. And thank you. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right, Rex. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. But just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. soldiers out of our civilians they don't have supply lines how do you beat something like that i'll let you know if i think of something thanks for the thoughts private the turians will hold pound for pound they're the best fighting force in the galaxy pound for pound is irrelevant given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. 
That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. <laughs> Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Hello, Shepard. Man, with every new mission, events of the world continue to move on. And we learn something new. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Oh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. It's not that I'm volunteering for bomb job duty. <laughs> I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Jared on Facebook with a donation of stars says, uh, Hi, Ox, just got off work. So glad to make it to your stream. Thank you, Jared. I'm glad you made it. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. What? I like having something solid in my hands. Now that I know your weakness, depends on how much fun we're having. Having what's going on here? Shepard, you've got Liara on board. Calm down. Commander. <laughs> Nothing new. I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rates. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresher ma with shotgun blasting roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiagar in her veins. Off to fight since Turians can't with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For she, she is the Krogan Queen, and it is a glorious, glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer patty songs. Of course. I really had to twist your arm. <laughs> Shepard, Eve ready for a travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Borden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. Oh, she is a Krogan queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a Krogan queen.
Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Daniel Holmes says, Trainer is a lesbian. She's a femshep only romance. Oh, that's right. But she said all of that stuff about um, Edie when we first met her on board. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Shepard. The Raging Krogan says... Warp unlocked, available in Medbay? What? Oh, right. Um, just got in. I know it's late. At least I can catch the end of the stream. That you can. Right, and she moved over here. Please, enjoy your day. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Mm. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. Maybe later. Go eavesdrop on Morden again, says Shard. All right. Zach with an AK says, uh, she's lesbian, but if you still try, hilarious. You, you can still try? Oh, that'll be interesting. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's, let's, uh, uh, Edie, Edie's pretty busy with, you know. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like, Shepard, Shepard doesn't really need to know. 
Ah, guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. He's standing right there, isn't he? I wish I wasn't. <laughs> oh no! Joker! <laughs> He's worried about breaking bones on Edie! <laughs> Oh, poor Joker. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here <laughs> if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in me. Oh, God, how many of those are there? Do I have to take the elevator or can I just run away and come back? I'll try taking the elevator again. That was gold. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. The same Hit one. Muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Oh, God. Pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. All right, I'm, good. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Cushions and gel packs? No, thanks. Just move on. <laughs> oh, God. All right, uh, where were we? Uh, was there anyone in... Yeah, yeah. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Turian. You are cunning. Uh-huh. And by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. I'm glad the Protheans are extinct. Can I say that? I think I'm pretty glad the Protheans are extinct. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Mm. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? Freddie Simmons says, remember the priority missions, like curing the genophage, have no time limit. So side missions should be taken care of first. Thank you, Freddie Simmons. Rockland F says, sometimes there is a thing as too much lore, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, that gave me mental images I could do without. Joker and Edie. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. But doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Mad Roland says, uh, remember Ox, Javik's experience is all shaped by what he knew, which was only war. He was born after so many worlds had already been conquered. And that's a good point. He's only one member of an entire species. And I suppose we can't judge all of the Protheans on him alone. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? 
about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Mm -hmm. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Oof, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Okay. New quest. Thermal pipe. Commander. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. so odd, having a reporter on board this ship. Hey Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. That last drop on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Sir. The Raging Krogan says Javik also is clearly experiencing grief. He is the only one left of his kind. Imagine any of us being the last human. This is hinted throughout Mass Effect 3. Yeah, you're right, he is experiencing a unique kind of trauma that few others can relate to. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms were bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hey. Right, let's feed the fish and see those new models we bought. Jocelyn Ryan on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Running behind must be contagious. It's been a Monday, Ox. I know it. It's been a Monday for me, too. Jared says, uh, You can say that the Prothean are extinct if you want to be called a racist, lol. I mean, it's also true. The Protheans are pretty much extinct. Well, except for one person. I mean, you are speaking about an entire race, but does that make you racist? I don't know. Matthew Ryan says, don't pay attention to my wife's star streak. Don't think you want a reminder as to how long it's been since Disco Elysium. <laughs> I, I would rather not have that reminder. All right, there we go. Missing only a couple of model ships. Space Hamster. Feed the fish. All right. All right, gonna do a hard save and end here. I am sadly all out of time. So I'll have to pick up right here where we leave off next week. Same Ox time, same Ox channel for more Mass Effect Monday. I'll continue with broadcasts this week with Assassin's Creed Odyssey for Wednesday. Uh, Scotch and Smoke Rings continuing um, 
of Sound Mind on Thursday and more Sherlock Holmes for Friday. Hopefully I'll have time to get a lore video done for the weekend. Thanks everybody for coming. See you all soon with more live streams and more lore videos. Bye bye now.